we have the advantage in this market, in the uranium market in particular, that we are always looking into the future and whatever information we have from utilities, from producers, it's very much forward looking. It's telling the story of any time from the next 24 months to the next 10 to 15 years. That's the advantage. And we almost play around a crystal ball trying to guess where the price is going to be. But there's a problem in doing that. And the problem is the same. We're looking into the future. We're trying to ascertain what price is high enough for new production to come online, new mines, not just new production from current mines. And we're trying to guess at which point the imbalance rebalances. Does that make sense? I hope so.